Hey Pioneers, Ms. Ham here. As we begin our study of life and literacy, something that we are going to do each Wednesday is we are going to have you work with some of the key vocabulary words that you are learning throughout each week. So for this week, we are going to be focusing on looking at these vocabulary words. Organelle, cell wall, cell membrane, nucleus, cytoplasm, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosome, Golgi body, chloroplast, vacuole, lysosome, animal cell, and plant cell. Your job this week is to make sure that you have a clear understanding of these words. If you do not have a clear understanding of these words, please feel free to look them up using a credible dictionary or use some of the readings that you have been assigned in class to help you build context clues to make sure that you have a solid understanding of each of these key terms. Then what you're going to do with those keywords is you are going to complete a total of activities that totals 50 points. So essentially each week it's up to you how many points you want to earn based on how many assignments that you complete. So if I say to you, okay, you have to complete 50 points or more. Um, if I wanted to just complete two assignments, I could complete one 30 point and one 20 point, or I could complete all, I could complete two five points excuse me, two 10 points, and so on and so forth. So again, these are based on how complex the assignments are. So the ones that are worth five points are simpler than the ones that are worth 30 points. It's completely up to you what you feel like you can do, but your goal each Wednesday is to get a total of 50 or more points. All of the words that are introduced each week must be used at some point throughout the various activities. So each activity does not have to include all of the words, but it should be an example <clears throat> of some of the words. And the big picture for the week is all of those words should be used in one activity or another. Each activity can only be completed once. So that means if you complete picture clues with four vocabulary words, you cannot complete picture clues again that week. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that as you are completing, you're going to highlight the text and you are going to, um, to let me know that, hey, we have completed these. And then at the very end, you're going to go in and you're going to delete any of the slides that you chose not to complete. So for example, say that I'm looking at the words organelle, cell wall, cell membrane, and nucleus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click, I want to complete this who am I activity. And so I am going to write the word nucleus, and then I'm going to give five clues without using the term about who, who that clue is. Okay, same thing for organelle, so on and so forth. Okay, so the same thing is going to happen if I click on um, linear arrays of meaning. Okay, and so we're looking at this is the vocabulary word. Okay, what is in between the meaning and then the word's antonym, so the opposite of the word. Okay, so again, these get more complicated and more complex the more um, the farther that you work in this. So if anybody has any questions, please feel free to reach out to me as soon as possible. But each Wednesday, part of your weekly work is going to be completing this vocabulary choice board in combination with Lexia. I'm really proud of you guys and really excited to be a part of this learning journey with you. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun studying, studying life as we study literacy.